Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Minister Cynthia Gosley from the New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where my pastor is Pastor Lavina Johnson Smith. And today I would just like to take a couple of minutes to encourage someone. But before I do, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity to come into the homes of my brothers and my sisters in Christ. I pray, oh God, that I will be able to encourage someone, uplift someone, God, to speak a word of life into someone. God, I pray that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Again, I just stopped by for a few minutes to encourage someone that might be going through a really rough time in your life right now. I want you to know that prayer is the key that will unlock the doors of opportunities and possibilities and turn your midnight into day. It is through prayer that God can bring your life into alignment with his vision, his purpose, and the plan that he has for your life. I come to remind somebody that there is power in prayer. The God to whom we pray is the all-powerful creator. So he is able to intervene in our lives. He is a loving father. So he is concerned with what concerns us. And he is all-knowing and trustworthy to say yes when it is best and no when what we ask will cause more harm than good. If there was ever a time that we needed to pray, that time sure is now. When we pray, there is incredible power, great possibilities, and tremendous promises received from God. Prayer is not a hard thing to do, my sisters and my brothers. It's simply a conversation with God. It is our heart connecting with God's. So I ask this question, why is it then that it seems like such a chore for us to take the time to pray? It is through prayer we establish relationship with God. The more we get to know him by reading his word and spending quality time with him, the easier it will be to have that conversation with him. When you spend time with him, he will open your eyes to see things that you've never seen before. He will touch your heart in a way that man or woman cannot touch. He will occupy your mind to think right and give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. He will give you strength to withstand any situation in any circumstances that knocks at your door. As your relationship matures with God, you will find yourself conversing with him throughout the course of the day. And that's exactly what he yearns for. It's just like establishing a new relationship with someone you just met. We will go out of our way to spend time talking and learning more and more about that person. And as you do, your relationship grows and develops into something that's more personable and meaningful and prayerfully, it becomes a lifetime commitment. Prayer should not be thought of as a chore, but a privilege. We should crave to give thanks to God as we find ourselves standing on the mountaintop of our good times. But we should also invite God into the uncertainty of our lives to be our GPS that will lead and guide us into all truth and put us back on the right path. 
when we find ourselves in situations where we feel lost and don't know which way to turn, which way to go, we need God to recalculate the direction we are traveling in. And in doing so, sometimes it may require God to create a U-turn in the plan and reroute us. Pro uh, Proverbs 3 and 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. That means talk to him when there are storms out on the ocean and when it feels like we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death because the word tells us that we don't have to fear no evil for thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. You have to talk to God when it feels like the world is closing in on you and you feel like throwing in the towel. Speak over yourself. Tell yourself that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Tell yourself that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Remember that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. We must remember to look to the hills from which cometh our help and remember that our help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, he will not slumber nor sleep. He shall preserve thy soul even forevermore. God will give you the strength to carry on if you just hold on to his unchanging hands. We should invite God into every situation of our lives. Why? Because prayer changes things. But more importantly, prayer changes people. And through prayer, we can reach our fullest potential in Christ. The, the disciples said to Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. And, it's, and that's okay if that's your prayer request for today as well. Take the time to have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your troubles. Trust me, he will hear your faintest cry and he will answer by and by. Just be still and see the salvation of the Lord. But while you're waiting, keep pushing and keep pressing. In Philippians 3, 13 and 14, Paul said, brethren, Hmm. I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the higher calling of Christ, of God in Christ Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, Keep pressing and keep praying because by prayer, Esau's heart was changed toward Jacob. By the prayer of Moses, God brought the plagues upon Egypt and then removed them again. By prayer, when Samson was ready to perish with thirst, God brought water out of a hollow place for his substance. By prayer, Joshua made the sun to stand still. By prayer, Elisha held back the rains for three and a half years, and then by prayer, caused it to rain again. By prayer, God allowed Moses to part the Red Sea. By prayer, David escaped the betrayal of Saul. By prayer, Solomon received great wisdom. By prayer, Daniel was delivered out of the lion's den. And it was by prayer that Abraham prayed for a son and received that son at the age of 100 years. If you are ready to enhance your encounter with the kingdom, try a new set of keys called prayer that will unlock all that God has in store for you. God already has your success, your prosperity, 
and fulfillment all planned out. And all you have to do is follow his directions to find it. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future. And if that wasn't enough, he said, and hope to give you an expected end. I pray on today that I have encouraged you to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness so that everything else can be added unto you. And not just you, but you and yours. May the peace of God be with you. Amen.